Yes, I'm Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So um, today we'll be talking about coordination chemistry. Basically, we want to focus on how to determine um, the primary and secondary valency of coordination compounds. Now, um, for those of you that uh, have not with us, we always talked about um, how to um, name complexes, that's coordination compounds. We have the video online, you can always download it to view it. Don't forget to subscribe, like, any question you understand, put it in the comment box. And don't forget to click on the notification icon. So today we're we'll talking about determination of secondary and primary valency. Now, now condition chemistry according to Alfred Wiener, he gave us some sets of rules guiding condition compounds. And the first thing he said is this: the oxidation state of the central metal is the primary valency. Don't forget that the oxidation state of the metal is the primary valency. And the number of ligand is the second valency. So if you look at this uh, condition compound, now these are hexa, aqua, ion 2. If you want to determine now the primary valency, the primary valency here will not be equal to now. What, what are is neutral? So 0 times 6 is 0. So what you have left, that is, you have Fe uh, plus. 0 times 6 equals plus 2. So from there, Fe equals plus 2. This is the primary valency. And the secondary valency, the secondary valency according to Aperina is the number of ligands. And your central metal, they are always transition elements. So basically, you have 6 water attached to the ion, and the secondary valency is equals to 6. Um, and from here, you can also determine the hybridization. When you have 6, the hybridization is an sp3d2. Yes, and that's the hydrogen complex. And here we have an ion, we have hexacyanoperate um, theory. So from here now, our primary valency, our primary valency, we have an Fe plus minus 1 times 6 um, equals minus 3. If, uh, the former charge of the complex, we have Fe minus 6 equals minus 3. So Fe equals uh, minus 3 plus 6 equals plus 3. So that's the primary valency. And the secondary valency, the secondary valency of this complex is 6 because we have 6 ligands coordinated. And here, we have 2 ligands there. We have the amine and we have the chloro. So from here now, amine is neutral. So 0 times 4 is 0. Chlorine is minus 1, minus 1 times 6 is minus 2. So the other side, cobalt equals plus 2. That's the primary valency. And the secondary valency here, the secondary valency of this complex, you have 4 amine, 4 amine, and you have 2 chlorine. All together, you have 6. That's also SP3D2. When the complex over you have cyanide, the, the, um, the hybridization will be D2. SP3. That's square planar complex. I will explain that when we talk about the effect of light and food. And lastly, what we have in that cobalt and central metal, TD amine, that's 0 times 3 plus 0 times 2, then you have a minus 1, minus 1. So and then the cobalt, this 0, 0, we have plus 2 on the other side. So that's the primary valency. And the second valency, that would be, we have TD amine, 2 oxygen, and 1 chlorine. The chlorine outside is not inside the coordination sphere, so we don't consider that as a ligand. Rather, it is an ion. So basically, we have a 3, 2, 1. So we have 6 as a coordination number. Thank you very much. Don't forget to subscribe.